All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this episode, Jim Gillen is joined by Jason Wilson of Lucid Optics. They're gonna talk about reticles and how to use them. Hey folks, Jim Gillen from Shadow Six here at Core Shooting Solutions in Baker, Florida. And for this episode, we're gonna go into a little bit of uh, reticles and the use and how to select and why you would pick a mil or a minute reticle or the difference in the two. Um, so for, for most people getting into uh, long range competition, whether it be you know a bench or F class like Jason here, or whether it be the the practical long range shooting stuff like Melissa and I do, there comes a time where when you're equipment, you've got to decide what you want, what do you want to do with it, and how the knowledge that you have will translate to that piece of equipment. So, me personally, you know, I'm into the mill thing. Um, I, I do mill reticles, mill turrets on a front focal plane. Mm -hmm. And I do that for some specific reasons for the, the type of shooting that I do. But that doesn't mean that you can't do it in, with anything else. And so Jason, you're a second focal plane, yeah. minute of angle shooter. Mm -hmm. So essentially the reticles, the reticles that we use, uh, if you didn't know any better and you just picked up two scopes that had one minute reticle and one mil reticle, you really can't tell the difference in the two of them. No, not without carefully looking on a metered target. Sure. And so, and honestly, the way they work is exactly the same. Mm -hmm. The way that you are going to use it for holdovers, hold unders, and wind holds left and right, it's, it's the same. exact same way that I'm going to use my mill reticle to hold over, hold under, or left and right for wind. It's just the math that goes into how far each one of those distances uh, means in your reticle is where the difference really comes into. That's correct. So why did you pick minutes? Minutes really boil down to being mathematically simple and a smaller angular measurement so my precision factor is a little higher when mm -hmm. I make a shot. Because um, at 100 yards that one minute is an inch. Mm -hmm. That same minute at 600 yards is six inches. Sure. Um, a mill at 100 is how big? A mill at 100 is 3.6 roughly inches. Okay, and a mill at 800 is? Times four. <laughs> See, there's the mass. <clears throat> so, and that's where the difference between a minute shooter and a mill shooter. You specifically, the type of matches and the shooting styles that you do, you have a little longer times and you want to be extremely precise. And the difference between a mill and a minute is almost a factor of four. Mm -hmm. um, so in saying that, you know, when you've, when you've got a little longer time and you need to be very, very precise, by all means, the minute reticles are going to work way better for what you're going to want to do with it as opposed to what I use in a mill. And so for us, when we're under a strict time, uh, we've got to shoot, move, set up, and then take another shot. And, you know, our targets are still targets. You know, a lot of them are you know, two minute angle or bigger targets. So we have the ability to a tenth here or a tenth there is not going to cause us a hit or a miss on a target. And so that's where, you know, when we measure, you know, we pull up and as long as I know my cone of fire is about 0.3 mils, and as long as I'm inside that, and that 0.3 mils can float inside that steel target, as long as I'm good enough for that shot, I can take that as opposed to, you know, your F-class and bench rest shooting, or you know, when your true accuracy shooting, is you have to be as precise as possible. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that do drive me nuts about my mill reticles with mill movements is when I'm zeroing at 100 yards, mm -hmm. and I take my, you know, I get it down to about where I want it to, and I take my shot, and it hits just to the right of the actual X, and then so I click it over to the left, one click, and then it shoots just to the left of the actual X, and there's no in between. There's about a bullet space in between because it's a third of an inch per click, mm -hmm. as opposed to when I was, you know, early in the game, I was shooting minutes where I could put it exactly where I wanted it to. Yeah, so. and that's three eighths of an inch is the tenth mil at a hundred. Sure. So, and that's where when you're picking your scopes, when you're picking your reticles. Decide what's easier for you. You know, do you want to, to stay on the English uh, side and do uh, minutes with inches because you understand that and that's what you're comfortable with? Or you can pick a mill because you're able to use it the way you need to in order to facilitate the type of shooting you're doing. And it really doesn't matter which one as long as you pick it, when you learn it, 
and use it the way it's designed to be used. So, till next time, you guys hunt the wolf, protect the flock.